Next, we have contestant number 20, Serena Kaur, the inner bully in all of us. The inner bully in all of us, Serena Kaur. Oi, shorty, dumbo, nerd, loser. Were you alarmed? Well, these are some of the names that bullies call their victims. Perhaps some of you have been called such names in your life. Or worse still, if some of you have called others these names, all in the name of fun. Good afternoon, I'm Serena Jacqueline Kaur from Tanjong Katong Girls School and today I'll be talking to you about bullying. Did you hear that Singapore was ranked third in the world for having the most number of school bullying cases? Well, I mean other than the occasional grainy video of a school bullying incident that gets widely circulated online, I mean there's hardly any reportage of such incidents. Why? Why is it then that any of us would not expect Singapore to fall under the top 10 for having the most number of school bullying cases? Is it because we are under the assumption that our school discipline systems are tough enough to sniff any bullies and nip any potential ones in the bud? Why is it then that bullying still persists in our society? Why? It is because you can't tell a bully from how he or she looks like. I am currently dressed like how people would think a bully would be dressed like. But does that make me a bully or does that just make me look thuggish? Well, my actions would determine if I am a bully or if I'm not. If I hurt your feelings, then I'm a bully. If not, then I'm just looking thuggish. Simple, right? But why is it still that bullying persists in our society? It's because sometimes the person that you'd least expect to be a bully would actually be one. For example, the person that is the most friendliest to you, the most innocent looking, maybe even a prefect, could be the most venomous bully behind your back. And it's because we don't recognize his or her actions and we don't try to suppress them. So, how can we eliminate bullying in our society then? We need to recognize, we need to acknowledge that there is an inner bully in all of us. Oh, I believe that there's that mean streak in all of us that makes us want to belittle someone so that we can prove to be much, much better than that person. Oh, I believe that there's that hideous side of us that makes us want to broadcast their mistakes to a group of people so as to publicly humiliate them. Oh, I believe that it's just that insensitive side of us that makes us want to post an unflattering picture of our friends on Facebook and just publicly humiliate them online. But is that right? Is that morally right to make matters more worse? Nowadays, we have very easy access to internet and to the social media. So it's very easy for us to mask our malicious intentions behind fake identities and fake personalities by just posting a rude comment and leaving a smiley emoji next to it. And voila, we have the birth of the cyberbully. So my friends, are we lost to bullying? Are we lost to the inner bullies in us? No. Oh, I believe if we can check our motives, if we can think what consequences our actions can cause, if we can put ourselves in the shoes of the victim, then we can stand up to the inner bullies in all of us. So my friends, let us stand up to the inner bullies in all of us. And remember that by blowing out someone else's candle does not make your shine brighter. Thank you.